Hello everyone, this is Pumpkin Har. Today we're going to be talking about Chucky, okay? Now I do have another NECA figure based on the Ultimate Chucky figure, but it's based off of the movie. I believe it's part four because in part three he gets chopped up by the fan. And they bring him back and they stitch him up and they bring him back via voodoo, okay? But anyway, we're going to make a comparison between that figure and this one here once we get it out of the box. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this uh, particular figure. And then we're going to, you know, talk about the TV show and everything. So, stay tuned. What are you fucking nuts? <laughs> you thought? <laughs> you <can't> just... <sighs> okay, we're back. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the box art. And then I'm going to take everything out of its box. And obviously we'll make a comparison between the two of them, okay? And we'll, we'll talk about the TV show in itself, okay? But anyway, this is the front cover. And what I like about it is the actual unique colors that they did with this. But as you can see, he looks really cool there. He's got very cool looking facial features for this particular figure. Right? It looks really rather detailed. As compared to the movies, they have improved, don't get me wrong, all right, when it comes to the movies. But as you can see, his facial features are badass looking. But he's got longer hair, too. So that makes him a little bit different looking than your traditional Chucky, okay? That's the face I like right there. I think it's cool looking. And he's also got a middle finger that pretty much tells you to go, fuck yourself. <laughs> That side of the box. And the top of the box. And now let's open her up. There's the side right there. He's got a nice long knife too. And that's what he looks like inside the box. Again, he's got many different facial features. Okay, we're going to get into them. He's got his butcher knife, which looks like a Henkel. Uh, Michael Myers used one in uh, the 2018 movie. It's an 8 inch, and it's very realistic in nature. Okay, and it also comes with syringes, too. I haven't seen the TV show in quite a while, but I got to get back into it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to pull everything out of this box because it's going to take me a while. So, I'll be right back. All right. Okay, we are back, and we got them out of their boxes. And there was something surprising about this particular NECA figure, and it's standing on its own. But uh, most NECA figures, when you get them, if they're not the cloth-type material, they usually have a hole on the bottom of the shoe in order for you to use a NECA stand on them. This one doesn't have it for some strange reason. That's one thing I'm going to point out. But before we get into the actual figure, let's get into the actual accessories that comes with this uh, particular figure. Now, as you can see right here, we have a bunch of syringes because of during the actual TV show. He uses them, but like I said, I haven't seen the uh, TV show in a while. All right. I don't know if you can actually see that or if the, the light's doing any kind of justice to it. All right. Because I got my lumens light on and I need it to be nice and bright so you can actually see the figures in themselves. Maybe that's it right there. I'm not sure. And that's what that looks like. You can put them in his hand. You can switch out his hands, which I'm going to show you here in a second. The arm is a burnt arm. Again, like I said, I haven't seen them all. And it's been a while since I've seen it. But I'm sure he got burned somewhere along the lines. Because I think I watched the first season, but never got into the second season yet. So I'm not sure what's going on with that yet. But I do have it. I will, I will watch it eventually. But uh, it's been too busy at work as of late. Okay. Yeah, I got a little shake there. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Again, he got scorched. Alright. Comes with different hands. And I've already switched the mount on my figure to what I want it to uh, look like. Jesus, my finger. Hang on. 
Okay, that's what that looks like. Alright, now you can put your knife in there, but I got another one that's for the knife. I believe this is for the right hand. So you can put various things like the syringes in one hand if you want to do that. Or, you know, just leave it empty. What do you want to do? Then I'm going to show you the different facial features. This one's an open, open hand one. Okay. And this is another open hand, so you can keep them open hand. He doesn't have to have no weapons if you don't want. But I got the butcher, uh, butcher knife in the one hand, on the right hand, and the fuck you finger on the other hand. Because I think that's absolutely cool. And let's look at the head sculpts. These are amazing. Really nice job. And I'm going to show you and compare the different uh, head sculpts when I pull the other figure into a... Uh, so we can make a comparison. The hair is uh, its obvious. It's longer. Alright. Because he didn't get a haircut. He needs a haircut. Okay. Okay. Here his hair is like full on. Now a lot of people didn't like the actual. Um, I think it's 2013. The new reboot version of it, he was an actual AI. They put a bad uh, processor in it, and obviously he, he went for crazy. I happen to like that movie. Like most reboots, I do like them, but a lot of people seem to want to criticize them because they're too different, or they don't have the same actors. They always want to seem to criticize those movies. I don't understand that. When in themselves, they're actually not bad movies, okay? Especially this uh, that Chucky movie. It was different. Okay. And you see the facial features are really amazing on this figure here. And it's a big step up from the uh, the ones in the past because technology has improved vastly. Now this one here is the pizza face. No, not really. I mean he's all burnt and melted. He's like, you motherfuckers. You fucked up my pretty face. <laughs> And he's also like, you motherfuckers fucked up my pretty hair. I was gorgeous. <laughs> All right, these are the three head sculpts, along with the arm and the syringe and the hands. Okay, that's pretty much it on the accessories. Now we're going to get into the actual figure. Uh, obviously, this head sculpt here is the one I like because he's very expressive here. He's like, yeah, motherfucker, fuck you. <laughs> it's very similar to the um, other one, which I'm going to show you here in a second. But like I said, the head sculpts are a vast improvement. And that's because of technology. In the way they handle the movies, they do it as, a, as, as exact as, as you possibly can according to what they see in the movies and stuff and the TV shows. Okay, now you can see on the bottom of this here. No fucking holes, which is surprising. Now, I could glue this to the neck of stand, but if it stands on its own, I'm not going to do that. All right. Now, the body in itself is probably the same one as most Chucky's. The only thing that are really technically different would be the head sculpts and the accessories that, that it comes with, okay? Now, it does have a hinge system right here. So you can bend the legs. The uh, articulation. The arms do move. Okay. So does the elbow. The elbow does bend. Okay. There we go. Just like that. Right there. Fuck you motherfuckers. <laughs> but anyway, that's what this looks like right here. I'm going to close up of that. Like I said, the body is pretty much the same as the other ones. Except the shoes are a little bit different in color, which I'm going to bring this one in. So hang on for a second here. Oh, the hankle, the knife, is literally a hankle. That's what it looks like. It looks like the same one that uh, Michael Myers used in the 2018 movie. I think he pulled it out of the drawer and started stabbing people with it. But it is an 8-inch uh, J.A. Hankel's knife. 
that's what they use in that. And I've got another prop knife from the 2018 movie coming in. I just got to wait for it to come in. I think it's 2018. Or maybe it's the 2007. It might be the 2007. Again, getting back to what people seem to think. Um, anytime they reboot the movies or put some new actor in it. Like that movie, Halloween with Rob Zombie. They criticized the shit out of it. Don't know why. It was actually better than most of the Halloween movies out there in my opinion. Because I like the violence. The overly aggressive nature of that Michael Myers. And the fact that he's absolutely gigantic makes it all that much better, in my opinion. It's just the way I perceived it, okay? A lot of people just like Michael, a certain height, going out killing people and stuff like that. But that one was a little bit different because, obviously, he was like almost seven feet tall. Very intimidating and very violent. And that's what I liked about the movie was the violence. Halloween 2 was even more aggressive and more violent. But I didn't think that was actually as good as the first movie. But anyway... Let's get this guy here as compared to this guy here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one down and then I'm going to show you the difference in the colors and stuff. Okay. Again, the knife is a little bit different. Okay, i got to turn that around. There we go. There it is. Okay. Now like I said, when I do the comparison, you'll see that this, the actual body itself is probably pretty much the same. With the exception of certain color configurations. Okay, like the shoes are a little darker on this one than they are on this one here. This one's more true to the the actual uh, figure in itself. This one's a little darker for some reason. Okay, now you see those holes on the bottom of this one here? This one here doesn't have that. But this is more true because if you see the bottom of them, it's got the good guy configuration on the bottom of the shoes. These are true to them. As you can see, the shoe colors are a little bit different, okay? But the body in itself, they're pretty much the same. Except this one here is a little darker. They, they just completely made him darker in every way, okay? Turn this around here. All right. As you can see, the suits are pretty much the same. Except for the coloration itself. And the shoes are a bit different on the bottom obviously okay but this is my ultimate Chucky from the TV show like I said I haven't seen the TV show I've seen the first season of it but I haven't caught up with uh, season two or you know other parts of the season three I know they're going into season three right now but like I said I've been busy I haven't really had time to watch any horror movies which is a shame okay because I like me some horror okay but anyway, that is my ultimate Chucky figures. Okay, this is from the TV show, okay? Put him down. And they will stand on their own if you're careful. If you put them on a shelf that vibrates a lot, especially if you walk by, they will fall. So you got to be careful. That's why I like to put them on NECA stands. But this one here, obviously, I can't. But that's okay. I like the shoes. I like the, what they did to the bottom. They really paid uh, attention to the details to the bottom of them, which is really cool. Okay? And all I got to say is don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see some more uh, videos. I've got some other figures coming in. Not sure what's coming in through pre-order, but when they do come in, I will let you guys know, okay? But in the meantime, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> we'll see you guys later, okay?